Hello, I'm Martin Smith, and this is your UFX Markets Week in Review. Today we'll cover some of the major events of the past week and discuss how they impact the global currency markets. The euro declined to a two-month low versus the US dollar as a drop in French industrial production increased speculation that Europe's economic outlook is getting worse. A European Union official said the Eurozone finance ministers may not make a decision on unlocking a $40 billion installment of rescue funds for Greece until late this month. Germany's government bonds rose for a third week as data indicated the economic slowdown is spreading to Europe's largest economies, emphasizing the case for the region's central bank to cut interest rates to boost growth. A euro area report that is due next week is forecast to confirm that the region's economy slid into another recession in the third quarter. The euro was last trading at 127.10, a decrease of minus 0.28%. The Canadian dollar dropped to a three-month low before erasing losses after consumer confidence in the USA, which is Canada's largest trading partner, increased to a five-year high. Investors have moved towards the refuge of the greenback this week. A policymakers in Europe decide on a rescue aid to Greece this month, and U.S. lawmakers risk moving the economy of the USA into a recession in the budget deficit debate termed the fiscal cliff. The Canadian dollar was last trading at 10013, an increase of 0.13%. The Japanese yen was trading at its strongest level since October the 18th. The yen normally strengthens it in times of political, financial and economic instability because Japan's historical trade surplus means that the nation doesn't have to rely on overseas lenders. The Japanese yen was last trading at 79.46, an increase of 0.01%. In commodities, gold traders are the most bullish in 11 weeks on speculation the U.S. policymakers will add to stimulus following the re-election of President Obama, increasing demand for the precious metal. The European Central Bank kept interest rates at a record low and nations from the USA to China have pledged to take more action to boost economies. Gold was last trading at $1,730.82 an ounce, a decrease of minus 0.02%. Crude oil advanced as data indicated that U.S. consumer confidence climbed to a five-year high, easing concern that a political stalemate in Washington will lead to a fiscal crisis. Oil was last trading at $86.07 a barrel, an increase of 1.15%. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed this week's review and you'll join us next week. Until then, be sure to visit us at ufxmarkets.com for all your online trading needs. For UFX Markets, I'm Martin Smith. Good luck and happy trading.